The following is a presentation of SC State Athletics. Pressure coming, you gotta let it go. Throws it out there. Oh, The defending HBCU National Champion, South Carolina State Bulldogs, open the 2022 college football season on the road at the Bounce House, a.k.a. FBC Mortgage Stadium in Orlando, Florida, to take on last year's Gasparillo Bowl champions, the Central Florida Knights. The Knights, coached by veteran coach Gus Melzahn, will be playing in a final season in the American Athletic Conference before they move on to what they hope are greener pastures of the Big 12. South Carolina State, on the other hand, returns nine starters on offense, nine starters on defense. Easily one of the youngest, most, most experienced teams, but if he was fielded in quite some time. Can this young but veteran Bulldog team give South Carolina State something that's never had before? That is a win over Division I opponent? You're about to find out. Coach Pugh, first game of the year, Central Florida. Talk about your team coming in here and what you're hoping to do in shocking the world. Well, we need the first thing, score. Everybody talks about the fact that we hadn't scored here before, but now we've told our offense that we're going to put the onus on them to get us going, we feel like our box has got to be, you know, the deciding factor in exactly what goes on here. If they have a light box, if they got a lot of guys playing the run, then we got to throw it around. And if they light it up a little bit, we got to pass, we got to, we got to run the football. So if we can get our offensive line to block these guys, that we think we can, our offensive line is pretty good, and that gives us a chance to get something really going which at that point strengthens our defense because our defense will hang in there with these guys. Coach, you got a young team, but one thing about this team is not like most young teams. They're experienced. They played at Clemson. Mm -hmm. They played in Atlanta in the Celebration Bowl in the big game. They're not going to be this moment. It's not going to be too big for them. No, I think we'll be fine that way. The crowd noise, that kind of stuff won't get to us. The big thing for us is to be able to actually handle their up-front pressure offensively and defensively. If we can hang in there with both sides of their up-front line play, and at that point, then we got a shot at these. Guys. Coach, the best defense perhaps may be your offense keeping the football away from them. What do you hope to do to kind of keep the football on the outside of the field? Well, what we like to do is we like to be able to mix up the run and the pass in a way that we can do a, a great job of deciding, you know, exactly how they're defending us. If we do a nice job, if Corey and we challenge Corey fields to actually be accurate as all get out to make great decisions about when to pull it and when to throw it. If he can have a great game, and that's what it's going to take for us, at that point, then we got a shot. Defensively, uh, Plumley, the quarterback, John Bumpley, much better runner than perhaps pass it goes. How does a guy who wasn't on the team the year before come in and move the starter completely out? He's got to be pretty good. Well, we think he is. And if you look back at when he was at Ole Miss. He rushed for almost 200 yards against LSU the year that LSU won the national championship. So this guy is the real deal. And our guys will have to know where he is. Pull off the backside of the zone, counter, all kinds of quarterback run game, midline run game. It's got to be a situation where we've always got to have an idea where he's at. Coach, I know it's not a strange question. It's a typical question. But what is it going to take for us to get a win here at the Bounce House in Orlando? Well, it's going to take us being effective on offense. We've got to actually, they're going to score some points. So we got to outscore them a little bit. But at the same time, if we get in the 20-point range, I think that can be enough for us to get our defense to do the rest. All right, Coach, best of luck this evening. Thanks so much. All right, Blake gets the signal. And here we go. He approaches. End over end kick's going to be fielded by Omari Johnson at the 15, starts right at the 20, at the 25, at the 30, wrapped up, slung down at the 33-yard line. In motion is Eric Holler, the tight end, back to pass. Plumley rolling to his right, throws it out, and the flat has a man out there caught. On the tackle, that's Bowser, knocked out of bounds by Jalen Barr, but not before he got to the 44-yard line. Plumley, quick snap, gives it to Bowser. Hit, oh, Plumley kept it himself, out on the outside, breaks the tackle, tackle down at the 40-yard line. Good read by Plumley. John Plumley, the quarterback, straight drive back, looking in trouble. And it's going to be, breaks the tackle in the backfield. We had him. He got loose. Now he's keeping himself up the field. Plumley at the 20, at the 15. Plumley down to about the five yard line. My goodness, we had him in the backfield and he got away. 
Attacking left, right, Plumley. Handoff inside. No, play action fake. Throws in the end zone. Caught touchdown on the reception. That was Javon Baker. Plumley to Baker for the score. Shotgun snap. Corey back to pass. Looking. Throws it out in the flat. It is caught. That is Richard Bailey. Pickup of eight on the play, but not enough for a first down. Dyson Roberts. Keeps it himself. Dyson gets the first down. Dyson Roberts up to about the 38-yard line. Shotgun snap. Corey back to pass. Corey looking long. Corey wants to run. Tries to throw it out. Dumps it out to Alex James. It's going to be an incomplete pass. Here comes Dyson. Dyson. Rugby punt again. Dyson's going to run it again. And he's not going to get anywhere. Then he punts the football. Can you do that, Bill? I think you can. <laughs> Kicking teams. Five yard penalty from the previous spot. First down, six and four. Shotgun snap. Plumley play action fate looking long. Plumley throwing it out there. Has a man out there. It is caught. Touchdown. One play into the end zone for the catch. There's a snap. Looking left. Looking right now. Going long. Got a man out there. It's too high. And it's nearly intercepted. It was intercepted at the 20-yard line. Shotgun snap. Plumley back to pass. Plumley looking long. Plumley throwing long. Got a man out there. It is. They caught at about the 38-yard line. My goodness, what a catch. First down, Central Florida to 43 of South Carolina State. Plumley, quick pass to O'Keefe. O'Keefe wrapped up and hit. My goodness, he is driven to the turf by Dwayne Nichols. Plumley pulls it out. Plumley keeps it himself. Plumley breaks the tackle at the 10. Plumley down to five into the end zone. Plumley broke three tackles. Jalen Barr got him by the ankles. Plumley keeping himself going the other way. Got away from uh, Aaron Smith getting outside. Breaks another tackle. Goes out of bounds. Back to pass is Plumley. Plumley. Back to screen back. A short screen over to the right side. Trying to get outside and knocked out of bounds on the reception. Holler in motion. Play action fake. Plumley trying to get outside. Makes a man miss and gets. Bowser keeps it himself over the right side. Bowser tries to get in, but he went down. I didn't think he got in, but they say touchdown. Touchdown Central Florida. Back to pass. Plumley throws the screen the other side. Over the right side at the 10, at the 15, at the 20. Off to the races. It's number one. He breaks the tackle at the 45. He's at the 45-40. Going to be driven out of bounds. Aaron Smith runs him down. Bulldogs, four down lineman. Here comes pressure. Plumley steps up. Plumley is hit and fumbles the football. His first miscue. We pick it up and we can run this one back. And here we go. That's Jablonski Green at the 40, 35, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5. Jablonski brought down at the two yard line. My goodness. Snaps high. Dyson's toe is in it. And the zero is gone. And that is the end of the first half of play here in Orlando, Florida. It's 28 for the Knights, only three for South Carolina State. Our coach talking about the first half. It could not have been any worse. We got down quickly, 28 to nothing. One of those we gifted, but still, uh, it was a tough first half. It was. Uh, we've had um, tough times before, but this was one of the ones that I, I can tell you I don't want to see again. Uh, we got to get uh, a lot of things done to be better. Uh, this game was was a good measuring stick for where we at. And uh, uh, I told our team after the game, uh, the Bethune-Cookman team will beat us the same way if we don't play better. So at this point right now, uh, we got our work cut out for us. Obviously running the football was a problem. You couldn't get it going. You knew if you got the offense going, it would have to be because you could run the football. But we really could not get it going to establish no, anything on the line of scrimmage. We did not. And part of our issue was the fact that we had a couple of decent run plays and we got holding pins out of those. So, you know, we didn't necessarily have uh, the ability to block these guys. Uh, they were better up front than we were. And uh, I'm just at this point kind of at a loss to, you know, know exactly what direction, you know, we need to go except for that, you know, I think once we get back to our level, we'll have a better shot at this deal. But, you know, our team has really got to, they got to wake up uh, notice tonight. And I guarantee you, you know, they, they are understanding of, of what we've got to do. You know, one of the positives we can talk about, but then the positive becomes a negative because I know where you'll go with it, but I will bring the kid up. Dyson Roberts had yeah. some great punts at some points tonight yeah. and from the standpoint of keeping yeah. us in the ball game, he actually turned the field right. and, of course, give you an opportunity to really stay in the yeah. game when you couldn't. But then, of course, he had some mistakes yeah, later on as well. Did. He did. And 
Dyson's a little bit of a right on the edge kind of guy. He does uh, some fantastic things, and you know you got to take the bitter with the sweet. Yep. He did have a a play that I think you know he would would tell you that he knew better than. But I think he got into a situation where he didn't want to get hit, and he did, and he didn't think he was gonna make the first down. You know, it was a you know what do I do now kind of moment. So he ended up punting the ball past the line of scrimmage. I actually at that point thought that we'd get. You know, I thought it was a five-yard penalty and he re he re-kicked the ball. I didn't realize it was a loss of down. <laughs> we both know now, <laughs> I guarantee you. So, you know, that caused us another score. But you know what? He got a chance to get back and then get, you know, a couple of balls. It was a low snap in the late part of the game that caused us some issues. But at that point, you know, he had had, you know, a couple good plays too. So that's going to be okay. We're going to wrap things up for the first half of the night. We're going to take a time out here on the Buddy Pew Show. When we come back, we'll have the – Prisma Health Injury Report for the Central Florida football game. We come back on this edition of the Buddy Pugh Show. Your home is where your memories live, where you laugh and where you love. We understand the importance of the valuables under your roof, tangible and intangible alike. So no matter what's around the corner, we'll be there. Offering you and your family the support that's made Farm Bureau Insurance a trusted name for nearly 70 years. You deserve more. You deserve a promise. Prisma Health keeps South Carolina hearts beating strong. As the largest cardiovascular provider in the state and home to the only freestanding heart hospital dedicated to the prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of heart disease, we provide the heart care you need. With more innovative treatments like LVAD, more specialists, and more locations closer to you, we're doing even more to help you <laughs> be your healthiest you. Prisma Health, the heart and vascular experts. Hey, South Carolina, you can make a choice for your Medicaid health plan. Choose Healthy Blue. With Healthy Blue, your whole family is covered for free or low-cost checkups and prescriptions, plus eye exams and glasses for kids and adults. Get all this and more from a plan backed by the Cross and Shield. The choice is easy. Get Healthy Blue now at choosehealthyblue.com SC and get more from Medicaid. All right, folks, it's time for the Prisma Health Injury Report, Coach, and this is a report we don't care too much for, but it wasn't so bad that, uh, against Central Florida. It, it wasn't, but we did have a couple guys, cr critical guys, that got hurt. Nick Tate, uh, one of our starting offensive linemen, one of our best offensive linemen, actually, went down early with a bad ankle. Uh, hopefully he'll be back for Cookman. We got a 10-day window between now and then. Uh, Zan Dunham, one of our freshman linebackers from Chester, South Carolina, in his first game, Blocked the punt, but at the same time, he uh, pulled a, a, I'm thinking, a hamstring. Had a couple other guys. Jalen Barr had a little bit of a uh, knock the wind out of him kind of moment. He came back, and uh, we had a Ridge uh, Ford, uh, Ridge Ford kind of had a shoulder slash uh, head injury. Hopefully, he'll be back. I think Ridge will be okay in a couple of days. All right, that's our Prisma Health Injury Report for the Central Florida football game. We'll take a timeout. We'll come back. We'll have highlights from Saturday's encounter with the Central Florida Knights on this edition of the Buddy Pew Show. At Founders Federal Credit Union, we know success is a team effort. We're always cheering for you, side by side, so you can dream big and achieve your goals. Offering products and services that put you in the lead. Whether that's helping you buy a car, build your savings, or supporting your community, we're here with the financial support you need. That's teamwork. Score big with Founders Federal Credit Union. Relax with Founders. Think big. Something life-changing. I'm talking education. 
let's get inventive. Blow things up in a good way. Do it for 20 years? Wake up and education has received billions in funding. Who does all this? If you've ever played one of these or these, that would be you. Yeah, thank you. Kicking off from right to left. Casey's kick is high. It's end over end, and it is caught at the two-yard line, but signaling for a fair catch. That was Justin Brown, and will get it first and 10 at the 25-yard line. Shotgun snap. Corey looking left. Now rolling to his right. Corey trying to get outside and trap it and tackle down. Good penetration. That is Dyson. Dyson's got on blue shoes in the second half. And boy, I tell you what, the blue shoes really hit that one. Man, he picked out, he punted out across the field. It rolls all the way down to the 31-yard line. Play action. Plumley throwing it out. It is tapped up and knocked out of bounds. Great defense. Bulldogs create a three and out. Franklin gets it off. Back to pass. Franklin runs up in the pocket. Franklin's going to keep it himself. We didn't. Ex we ex kind of expected this. Franklin started to go down like Bill, like he wanted to stay up, but picked up. End up picking up nine yards, but well short of the first down. And Dyson Roberts, blue shoes and all, on the punt. Rugby punt, takes a couple run steps that way, kicks it up, and it is going to hit down. It goes the opposite way, and boy, Dyson flips it again. It goes <laughs> out of bounds at about the 13-yard line. Two receivers tight to the line, scrimmage to the left. Play action fake. Plumley back to pass, looking long. Throwing long, got a man out there. It is knocked away at the last minute. Beautiful defense by South Carolina State. On the punt is Casey for Central Florida. And it's blocked by South Carolina State. Got to find the football. And it is fought for. It's recovered by South Carolina State at about the 28-yard line. Keep your eyes on number yep. one in, in white. Play action fake. Corey going long. Caught. Touchdown, Jack Davis. 26 yards out. Third down and 11. Three receivers left, one right. Shotgun snap. Back to pass, Plumley. Plumley in trouble. Plumley nearly sacked. Gets away, throws it out there long. Got a man wide open. How does that happen? My goodness. Plumley quarterback. In motion goes Richardson. Plumley throwing it out in the flat to Richardson. And that looks like an illegal block out there. And Blum Richardson goes into the end zone for the score. Three down lineman for Central Florida. Back to pass is Corey. Corey in trouble. Corey steps up. Corey wants to run. Corey getting up the field. Gets across the 30 and tackled down at about the 30-yard line. Plumley with the handoff. This is Richardson outside at the 35, at the 30, at the 25. It's at the 20, at the 15. Driven out at about the five-yard line. Handoff again. Bowser. He's in there. For the score. Shotgun formation for Plumley. Back to pass, looking left. Pump fake now. One to go long. Man wide open. Touchdown. Plumley. Ice and Roberts. Low snap. Feels it on the second hop. And it's blocked. Oh Took my. a little too long. Touchdown, Central Florida. Oh, my. Nick at quarterback. His first action since the. There's Nick on the draw play. There's Tyrese Nick, and that's what Tyrese Nick does. It's a bulldog first, first down. down. Snap, handoff. Nick takes it out. Nick trying to make a man miss, can't get outside. Still on his feet, gets up the field, makes a man miss, and they say he stepped out of bound. Nick back to pass. Nick looking. Nick throwing. Oh, and it's caught. First down into Central Florida territory. Shotgun snap. Nick wants to throw it. Got a man out there. Back door. And, it, and I thought that might have been holding. Yeah, that was heavy holding. It's going to be a first down for South Carolina State. Nick. 
keeping himself around the left side at the 15. Nick trying to get outside. Nick fights down to the 10-yard line. There's your snap. Corey pitches it back to Jacory. Jacory gets the first down, puts his head down, knocked out of bounds at the five-yard line, but not before he picked up the first down. Our final score from the bounce house in Orlando, Florida, FBC Mortgage Stadium. It was all Central Florida as the Knights get the first win of the college football season, 56-10 over South Carolina State. All right, Coach, the second half of this football game, a little different story than the first half. You got down four touchdowns, but you settled down, and we thought your defense played a whole lot better in the third quarter. We did. We had a, a good little st string of, of uh, series there where our defense got them stopped and, and began to show some sign of life. Um, our offense was still kind of struggling, trying to find some kind of consistency. We got a block kick. You know, that, that was good. And then... You know, we hit a touchdown pass to Shaq, but at the same time, we've not got to the point yet where we're consistently decent enough on either side. Looking at these kinds of efforts, this game, uh, this type of uh, team that we played tonight. So we'll see uh, in another week or two, you know, what we can do. But I can tell you one thing for sure, and that is we know exactly what our problems are now, given the circumstances. John Plumley, the quarterback for Central Florida, was quite a runner as well. But, folks, we finally got a hit on him. We dislodged yep. the football. Mm -hmm. And Jablonski Green Jr. picked it up and off to the races. He went 80 yards down the field with the football coach, but he needed to go 83. He did. And I wished he had gotten in because – it was one of those kind of deals where we got the ball on the three-yard line, and we had we had a hard time blocking their front. And uh, you know, from that point, we ended up kicking a field goal. But at least we got in and kicked the field goal. I guess, you know, at this point, it was somewhat of a mystery whether or not we could score here or not. We had never scored in the stadium prior to the day, and. You know, we got that score, and then later on we got a touchdown, but at the same time, we got to be better. Well, what about the touchdown, Coach? It was a one-play one drive, 26 yards. You had Corey Fields hit Shaq uh, Davis, and you went right at him. We turned it over. The first play, you went right to Shaq. Yeah, you know? well, it was one of those plays kind of similar to the ones that we played, uh, that we made against the Jackson State team where Shaq was sort of covered, and we put the ball opposite the leverage of the defender, and uh, it gave him a chance to make it. He's a big, tall body. Sometimes he can take that body and kind of shield off the defender and then catch the football that way. He, he, that was the kind of play that he made in that particular situation. There weren't a lot of great moments for South Carolina State against Central Florida, but that indeed was one of them. We're going to take a time out and we come back. We'll wrap it up and talk about what's up next for your South Carolina State Bulldogs on this edition of the Buddy Pugh Show. This is where the formula ends and the magic begins. We take the mold, shake the mold, and break the mold. From late nights in the gym to later nights in the library, we grind. Because if you think greatness is a game, think again. Here, nothing shines unless we all do. Your home is where your memories live where you laugh, and where you love. We understand the importance of the valuables under your roof, tangible and intangible alike. So no matter what's around the corner, we'll be there. Offering you and your family the support that's made Farm Bureau Insurance a trusted name for nearly 70 years. You deserve more. You deserve a promise. No one takes care of families like Prisma Health. As South Carolina's largest health system, we have nearly 600 primary care doctors across the Midlands and upstate. So you can choose the one who's right for you with a more personalized approach, more locations, and more convenience, including 24-7 virtual urgent care and online or in-person visits with your primary care doctor. We're doing even more to help you be your healthiest you. Prisma Health, the primary care experts. Hi. Hi. <laughs> we all just got new smartphones at Cricket. Uh, hi. <laughs> hi. Hola. Hi. Hi. OK, bye. 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 Get great seats, safer, simpler, and smarter with TicketSmart. Choose great seats from over 125,000 live events, all backed with a TicketSmarter 100% ticket guarantee. Get your tickets smarter at TicketSmarter.com. Our coach Bethune Cookman, 
Another trip back down to the Florida will be in the same area. Uh, it's going to be a different atmosphere, but you, we know how difficult Bethune can be, and it is mm -hmm. not an easy place to play, and maybe as tough as coming here to play. You, you're exactly right. And those guys will put us out there at about 4 o'clock in the afternoon on uh, uh, an artificial turf field. That'll be a, a, a tough experience for us. So we better be prepared to get, you know, into a hot situation here in Florida, you know, that time of year. And uh, Bethune is always a hard win for us here in Daytona Beach. I tell you, I'm thinking, you know, that we really got to make the most improvement from the first game to the second game in this particular situation or Bethune will beat us again. You talk about Bethune, Coach, that was a game last year that you really seized control of for three mm -hmm. quarters. And mm -hmm. then fourth quarter, they just came storming back. And you know they took a lot of confidence from just making that a close game last year when we had them blown out. I guarantee you, they'll go right back to some of the kinds of things that they had the success against us with last year. And uh, that big old tight end, they've got a huge tight end that really makes you know, a, a little bit of a mismatch happen anytime he's, you know, out there trying to, you know, run around a little bit. So we need to figure out exactly how to defend him and their offense in general. But now Bethune's calling card is always, they play great defense and, you know, their defense coordinator has been there for a lot of years. And we'll see right now if we can figure out how to, if we can figure out how to figure out how to stop this Yogi Jones defense. When you start talking about Bethune, Coach, generally we have a good showing down there. We have mm -hmm. a lot of fans on hand. This mm -hmm. one is going to be as festive as the atmosphere was it here in be. Central and, Florida. And we had a lot of uh, fans, friends, family members who will be coming to this weekend's game, uh, the bethune Cookman game, as opposed to coming here for the nice game here in Central Florida because it's a Saturday game and uh, everybody likes to go to Daytona Beach. So. It'll be a nice little crowd from Lawrenceburg and, and surrounding areas that will come to see Saigon State play at uh, bethune Cookman on the uh, next Saturday from now. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this edition of the Buddy Pew Show. We appreciate you watching. We hope we'll see you this week coming up down in Daytona Beach, Florida, when the Bulldogs take on the Wildcats at bethune Cookman. And, of course, hope to see you next week right here on Bally Sports South on the Buddy Pew Show.